You're all here today taking this course, how to be an auto mechanic, okay? So it's your money, so pay attention, all right? I mean, you're paying 175 bucks for the course, you know? <laughs> Wait a minute, it was 125. Well, now it's 175. You know why? I didn't put it in writing. That's your first <laughs> lesson. <laughs> Yeah, with customers, you never put it in writing. Only way to work it, boys, I'll tell you that. Now, we got some important stuff to go over here today that a mechanic must learn. The first thing is, a guy comes in, no matter what's wrong with his car, you look him straight in the eye and say, you ain't using this car tonight. <laughs> Bubba, come on up here and try this, okay? Go ahead, Bubba, try it now, will you? I'm sorry, but you won't be able to drive this car at all. Oh, no, Bubba, come over here, will you please, Bubba? No, no, no. I told you, you gotta look the customer straight in the eye. Straight in the eye and... You must have trouble dancing, huh? Come on, come on. Straight in the eye and you say, you ain't using this car tonight, right? Okay, Bubba, now sit down, Bubba, okay? I'll keep you after school, but I'm afraid of you. The next thing is really important. The customer comes in, he's in a real rush, right? His car stalled, he's got a dead battery. His wife and kids are in the car. He's in a panic. When he asks you for help, you turn to him and say, I'm sorry, I'm all alone here. I'm alone. <laughs> What's the matter? What do you say when you've got an assistant? I don't care if you've got 10 assistants. If the guy needs help, you just look at him and say, I'm all alone here, I'm all alone. <laughs> so, you got it thrown very. I don't know why I joined this school. I don't know either. You can't fit under a car. All right, <laughs> uh, hold it, boy. Hold it, hold it. Back to business. Back to business. Okay, boys? A customer pulls in, right? He's lost. No matter where he's going, you just say to him, hey, you're way off. <laughs> Not in this town. <laughs> then you get a map, and you say to him, look, here's where you are right now. You want to get over there. You can't get there from here. Yeah. Well, you charge him a dollar for the map and you walk away. <laughs> now, boys, today, I got a real treat for you. A man who can teach you plenty. Today, you're gonna meet the garage mechanic's garage mechanic. Right. He's the most famous graduate of this school. His name is Dick Butkus. Oh, all right. And I'll tell you about Dick, okay? Dick was the first one to make sure the soap in the men's room had hair on it. Oh. <laughs> Now, when a customer came into his garage and set him in a hurry, he was the first one to say, hey, mister, I'm on my break. <laughs> yes, boys, here he is, just now. Just now, finished. 22 sensational weeks at a garage in Newark, okay? He's beautiful, I'll make him happy, okay? Dick Butkus. Hey! 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 Oh, baby, it's your floor. Go ahead, Dick. But more importantly, I've got the name tag. What does that say, son? Vito. Right. But your name is Dick. Correct. Because if Vito worked on your transmission and your transmission goes kaput, ha, how can anybody blame it on Dick? <laughs> That's my man. You're too much. You're beautiful. Right. So to begin with, students, your appearance is critical. Now, I spend two hours every morning going through wardrobe and makeup. Hey, nobody looks like Dick by accident, right? <laughs> two hours, makeup and wardrobe. Two hours. Tell her, baby. I start with the basics. First, a little grease under the fingernails. How much I mean, grease, Dick? Enough, but never too much. <laughs> All right, the last thing I want to leave you with is very important. The key to the men's room. Tell them about Go on, tell them about it. All right, all right. It should always be attached to a piece of wood at least 50 times the size of the key. Now, remember, the men's room is always locked. How come they're always locked? <laughs> Hell, it was your idea. You tell them. Why is the men's room locked? Is that so tough to figure out? We want to confuse people, that's why. We keep the cash register open, the safe is open, but the men's room is locked. <laughs> now, why do you keep the men's room locked? Why, to prevent stealing, Al. Stealing? What's in a steal in a men's room? I mean, in my life, I'm in all kinds of characters, guys that try to sell me a hot ring, a hot watch. No one ever tried to sell me a hot toilet. Never, never. <laughs> Any questions here at all? Yeah. You said yesterday that garage mechanics invented the phrase, who worked on this before? That's right. Well, I used to be a TV repairman, and we invented the phrase, who worked on this before? Well, it's very simple to figure out who started the phrase, who worked on this before. Well, what came first, the TV set or the car? Yeah. <laughs> um, before I forget, I want to warn you guys. Never take your work home with you, okay? That's how I lost my wife. What happened? 
One night I came home from work and my wife and I wanted to make love. I forgot myself. I took my work home with me. I looked at her and I said, who worked on you before? <laughs> well, what did she say, the TV repairman? <laughs> comedians around here, all right? Not a big one, how to handle a bill, okay? Now, if a customer has any brains, he won't be happy with the bill. If that happens, you just smile and say, I'll check it out. <laughs> and you hold up work hard as you worked on, and you start talking to two feet. Actually, there's no one under the car. They're fake feet. <laughs> you buy them, they cost seven dollars a pair, you slip under a car, you talk to them, okay? <laughs> There's a class going on here. Well, good, because I'm in the mood to teach somebody a lesson. Well, what's the problem, lady? The problem is this bill. And don't give me that old fake feet routine. Well, look, a repeat customer. Huh? <laughs> well, what about your bill? First of all, when I brought my car in, you gave me an estimate for $100. That's right. Well, this bill is for $200. Now, what happened to the estimate for $100? Oh, you're right. I forgot. That makes it $300. <laughs> See what I mean, boys? I didn't put it in the right here. This bill is not legitimate. Not legitimate? Are you kidding? It's got to be legitimate. There's grease on it. There's going to be blood on it if you don't do something about it. No, I'd like to help you, lady, but I'm all alone here. <laughs> Can you just tell me when my car is going to be ready? When your car be ready, huh? <laughs> you ready, boys? You ain't using this car tonight. <laughs>